So the following step is to steal the cost administration, the user. So still you go to administrations, you see the user, click on the user, you can see a list of the settings you can you can do. Okay. So for time being, we will enable cell enrollment. So this is the default setting. So the student will look for the course and enroll themselves. Okay. So what we're going to discuss now is the enroll user. So the enroll user is for you to enroll those students who didn't enroll themselves, or you can enroll any lectures and assign them as a lecture to the course. Another very really useful function is the group, which we will be discussed in the part two. Okay, after you have start your course, okay, start your lectures. Usually, this will be done in the first read for groups. So when you click enroll user, okay, so you can see this window. Okay, just click on this, you will see this. And the next thing you have to do is to click enroll user. Okay. So you can add the lectures. So you don't have to email to the admin anymore. So you can do it yourself. And you should also add student. Is there are some students still missing after one or two weeks the semester has started? So the group will be discussed in the next next module. Okay, I can show you how to do this step by step. So this is the course page that we have seen just now. So what you need to do is just go to the administration here. Here you see the user, just click on the triangle to expand it. Click on the enroll user. Okay. After that, you can click enroll users. Just click on it. Okay. So you can just type the student metric number. Okay. To look for the student and then click enroll. Okay. So in this case, you want to enroll the student as student. So just click assign role enroll okay so if you want to enroll any lectures you can just search the lecture name okay. just click enroll okay select teacher enroll and Keep doing this until you have finished and then click finish enrolling user. Okay. So you can change the rules anytime. Okay. For example, you want to assign this lecture as a non-editing lecture. Okay. Just remove the teacher. So that means that the lecture can grade the assignment but they cannot change the content of the course. And you also can assign the student as non-editing teacher. Okay, if you allow them to have a peer review assessment. So this is how you enroll the user. Okay, the user including lectures and also students.